But yeah, I mean, you've got one life to lead here, and if you don't use it, and you, if you're sitting waiting for someone to do it for you, why should any deity come along and say, I'll help you? It, but when you're saying, oh no, I don't care, people are suffering, I'm going to be okay, and I've been good, I've been good, you know, define good, what is good? And uh, God will do all for me, and all the bad people would get punished in an afterlife. Well, I tell you, that is not scaring the bad people very much, is what I'm seeing today. And uh, Christianity was a, a revolutionary concept in its day. Revolutionary was the word. And the Romans were very confused over Christianity. And the, the, the danger to them was that Christianity taught that every individual was technically free in spirit and just as dear to God as a rich man or a powerful ruler. And, and even the slaves were taking this up uh, and believing in it too. So they saw trouble coming down the road where people would eventually demand their rights, which actually they did. So Christianity in its early form was a revolutionary idea. And the people, the early Christians, stood up for their values by getting thrown to lions and slaughtered in the rings and arena uh, by the thousands. And that is facts. Well, that is well recorded. These guys literally could have given in any time and said, well, "Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll kiss the ring. I'll, I'll, I'll praise uh, the Caesar as a god," and they would have been let go. But none of them would do it. You, you try that with the bunch that are living today, the smug bunch. Yeah. What, what they believe? I will let the government do all that. It's all for the government. Yeah. We have to sit here and just be nice and good and, and keep quiet.